It's me! Mikey fucking pipes! Should I, should I bleep that out? No, you can keep it. It's me! Mikey pipes. With and Tom. Point by Tom. Plumbingbytom.com. Dot com. Oh my god, that has a nice ring to it. Yes, it does. Yes, we it are does. in Orlando, Florida. Look at this. Orlando. The land of DeSantis. The land of DeSantis. The land of DeSantis. The land of DeSantis. God yes. bless Ron DeSantis. God bless Ron DeSantis. And you know DeSantis. what? And Donald Trump, I don't and Donald know. Trump. I don't know about that problem. I don't know. He's, don't he's, know. he's got too many indictments. He's got more yeah. indictments than I did when I was 20 years old. Damn! I had none of indictments. I'm lucky. We had a great time. Yes, we did. Bro, we're going to conquer Florida together. Yes, we are. Listen. That's right, bro. Take care, pal. Bros and four hoes. Bros. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Hope you appreciated that little intro. I really appreciated spending last night with Tom. We had a few drinks together. We had some to eat. Um, we had a really, really, really great time. Uh, he's a plumber uh, in Orlando. Um, actually, near Orlando. And uh, I think we're going to make some moves together, you know? Uh, in case you guys don't know, right now I am in Orlando, Florida. I am here to take a the state of Florida... A plumbing exam prep class. Now you may think, Mikey Pipes, you know, if you're a plumber in New York and plumber in South Carolina, isn't it the same? The answer is no. The answer is no. And let me tell you the biggest reason why it's different here in the state of Florida. Do you guys see this? This is an isometric drawing exercise, right? You have to put this on paper like this. Let me show you an example. When my morning started today, this is what I was able to come up with. I couldn't figure out north, south, east, and west if you paid me a gazillion dollars. Seriously. It took me literally all day sitting in class for me to figure out orientation because you're tilted. You're fucked. So at the end of the day, I went from drawing something like this to drawing it. Listen, I'm not an artist. To something like that. And let me tell you something. Even this is not 100% accurate. But, but... In the state of Florida, right, when you're taking your plumbing exam, right, uh, there's a, it's a two-part or uh, it's a morning and afternoon class. In the morning, you have 45 questions and five isometric drawings. In the afternoon, I think you have 60 or 65 questions or something similar to that, right? And um, if you ace every single written question, right, every single question, and you fail all of these and get zero on that guess what you're not good enough to be a licensed master plumber in the state of florida you have to this isometric drawing holds 33 percent of the weight and you have to you have to pass not with like a 70 it's a little over 70 but it's hard it's hard and the passing rate is very 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 difficult so i went from starting and i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it real these damn isometric drawings. Let me show you. I started isometric drawing number one. Let me show you. Here it is, right? Looks pretty simple, right? Not bad, right? You have, you got to figure out north. So here's north, right? So when you're drawing this on paper, right? You're basically like this now, right? Because this is what's going to be like. North is here, south, west, and east, right? So when you're drawing this, right, you have to... You have to follow the rules. You got to follow this, right? So there's north, right? You put it like that, put it like that. You draw a line here, right? And you start making your fixtures, kind of like this, right? There you go. You have a vent through roof, right? And you have your soil stack right there, right? There's your soil stack. There's your vent through the roof, right? I didn't put a little, the top on there, but, or VTR, but this is the first one I did. It was eight o'clock in the morning, like 8.15 in the morning, and uh, it looks like shit. And as I went along, I started to become more looking like shit until I finally decided, well, you know what? I got to get with the program. Otherwise, I'm never going to be a licensed master plumber in the, in the uh, state of Florida. And then, you know, I graduated. And you know what? This was the last one I did. This is another nice one, right? Another nice one, right? And you don't got to worry about positioning so much, right? Because this is, this is okay. But I, you got to worry about how you take off, right? 
And every vertical line is, is, is an elevation change, right? You have a laboratory right here. You're coming up, right? There's my drain. You're coming up right there, right? You have to have to show direction, direction of flow, right? You got to come up and you stick out. You got to put clean out traps there, traps. Water closet. There's no trap on a water closet, no trap on a urinal, but you have traps on laboratories, okay? So I got to tell you, I got to tell you, if I did not take this class, I probably would have become an epic fail. An epic fail. That's what would have happened. So I have my state of Florida uh, master plumber's license exam uh, scheduled for uh, August, okay, in Kissimmee, Florida, all right? I have my state of Florida air conditioning B exam scheduled for the first week of July. And hopefully, 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 I pass, God willing, God willing I pass, and we'll make moves together, we'll make moves. And I could be, and I correct me if I'm wrong, I could be the first plumber on YouTube to expand through the means of social media because people like you, ladies and gentlemen, that are watching right now is, is the reason why I am doing this. You guys give me the motivation to do better on the next one. And together, we can make the trades great again. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be using all these books Right, they're still in the wrappers, as you can see, right? Look at this. This is a mechanical code, right? And here's the mechanical book, the binder. Why the fuck do you... No, it's fuel gas. Where's mechanical? It's in there somewhere. Yeah, there's mechanical. Why the fuck do you need a big giant binder for like this? You know what? In the state of South Carolina, this is the size of the book. It's like this. Why the fuck does Florida got to be difficult? Ron DeSantis, you know I love you. You know I love you. Talk to your boys down in the uh, <laughs> in the Department of Regulation and Licensing. Come on, why why can't I just condense that? Come on, I know you're watching, Ron. Love you, no homo. All right, so I just want to do a quick little overview, um, the basics that you need to know to get the isometric uh, component of the exam in check. Right, uh, there are six components. Six components that make up uh, a total of, uh, let's say, a hundred, right? Um, but there's six points. So number one, you have your orientation, right? As I showed you in the, uh, sorry, as I showed you on one of the sample drawings, this is a horrible one, but the top right corner is always going to be north. The bottom left is always going to be south, right? and that's gonna be west, and that's gonna be east. So keep that in mind. So when you have, when you get a drawing like this, right? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna take north, south, east, west. Go like that, and now you're gonna turn the orientation like this, and you're gonna draw, right, the isometric drawing of this in that orientation, okay? Uh, you have to get north, south, east, and west correct. Uh, the orientation, right? All the fixtures uh, are shown in the correct location relative to each other, right? It's, it makes up 20 points per, per the, each five. So let's say you have, um, you have the, the, first, the first isometric drawing you have. Let's say your orientation is, is, is incorrect. And one portion of that is incorrect, right? The fixtures are not shown in the correct, in the correct uh, location relative to, to each other, right? You get no points. It's not like, oh, I got almost all of them right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get 18 points out of the 20. No, if you get... The, the, the components, right? One of six components of that isometric drawing, if you get one component wrong, you lose all the points of that component, right? So orientation is very important. All the fixtures need to be shown, right, in the correct location relative to each other. Okay, the second component, right, is uh, piping, right? All the piping, the traps, and, um, so I got little notes here, I'm sorry. Uh, and similar portions of the piping structure are to be included in the drawing, right? The piping is shown exactly in the drawing, right? Regardless of code requirement. So let's say here, let's go here. Here's, here's your piping, right? That they want you to draw it out, right? There is your, there's your two building drains. So let's just north, right? But when you're drawing it, you're gonna be like that, right? So you're going to building drain there. You're coming across, right? It shows the vent there. The vent here is picking up the, the, these two water closets. 
these two water closets, this urinal, these two labs, it goes across. It doesn't pick up the floor drain, right? Because there's no line right there, right? It doesn't pick up any of the floor drains. It picks up the laboratory, right? And then it goes to VTR vent through roof in that location, right? You can't put the vent through roof over here. I think you're going to get, you know, the piping component, which is another 20 points. If you put that vent to roof in the wrong location, you lost. Venting. Right? All vents need to be properly indicated. It's 16 points. If you, if you took that one vent, right? And let's say you forgot to vent the, 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 the urinal, right? You just lost 18 points. Easy, right? Easy to lose it. Sorry, 16 points. Direction of flow, right? Let's take a look at my drawing here, right? My direction of flow is indicated right there, right? Boom, boom, boom. We're going from west to east. See that? Direction of flow right there. So you have to do that. You have to mark the flow. That makes up 12 points. If you miss one, one fixture, whether it's a, a water fountain, a mop sink, uh, a, a kitchen sink, right? If you, you miss one direction of flow, you lost 12 points. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, right? We're going to go to fixtures. Five, sorry, with six, seven, and eight. There's eight, actually eight. One, two, three, four, five five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight components, right? To the basics, right? So the angles, right? You got to use the 30, 60, 90 ang angles, right? The lines here, right? The lines here are your friends, right? The, the, these lines are there to help you. Like, see here, I did it wrong, right? I need to go this way, right? Like that. And like, and like that, you see? Instead, I went like there and I didn't follow the lines. The lines are your friends. And I'm not talking about lines of cocaine either, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, if you get your angles right, all of them right, on, on the, on the uh, isometric drawing and you hand, it to, you hand it in when you're done, right? You're gonna get all eight points, okay? Legibility, right? Your drawing is clear, clear and accurate and readable, right? The drawing is sufficient to size. Lines and labels are distinguishable. So take a look at this one, right? This one. Is 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 it's very legible, right? It would be nice if I could use a different color pencil for my venting, right? So you can let you know you can see that, but you need to be legible, all right? Like take a look at this one, right? This is this is a pain in the ass. Look at this one, right? But for the most part, it's legible, okay. Last but not least, okay. Uh, legibility is eight points. Last but not least, right? Let's say. You're a complete moron, right? But you know how to label everything, right? If you take a look right here, right? I got a laboratory. Uh, is that a laboratory sink? No, that's a floor drain. See? FD, floor drain. If I didn't put that there and all the other ones were labeled correctly, I lost four points for the entire sheet. So um, all I can say is that I'm very thankful that I was able to take this class because unlike, you know, um, jurisdictions in the state of New York, uh, the entire state of South Carolina. This is the first time, first time ever, I had to do an isometric drawing. Uh, and what's what's different about Florida is that you have to do that on on your uh, master plumbers exam. If you don't do that on your master plumbers exam, and you fail this completely. You're not going to be a licensed master plumber in the state of Florida. Um, the, uh, the the bad news is the the failure rate um, is high. You know, is high, and the failure rate for people retaking the test, like like repeat offenders, right? Uh, it's, it's like next to impossible to pass. Like literally, if, if you take it for a second time or a 20th time, the odds of you passing are like 12, 15%. So a few things I wanted to point out before I end, end this little video on the isometric drawings. And if you guys want some help on this, I'll be more than glad to maybe do like a FaceTime or Zoom. Uh, or if I get enough response, I'll put together another video. Again, I'm not perfect. Like, look, I started this morning doing it like this, right? And it's disgusting. It really is. Um, and as the day went on, right, I, 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 I thought I was going to be slick. I'm going to use a pen, right? <laughs> right I, have my, I have my soil stack and my vent stack, you know, through, and there's no um, vent um, penetration there. But we did multiple floors. Uh, take a look at this one here. It's a multiple floor one. Uh, and it's not perfect. It is not perfect, but it barely passes. Barely passes. So a couple re resources. The Plumber's Handbook. Uh, by the way, this the, all the books I'm going to uh, mention right now, they're all, you're allowed to use them and bring them into your uh, open book exam, right? So the Plumber's Handbook, right? They have a lot, a plethora of isometric drawing stuff that is relevant. There's a lot of isometric drawing stuff in here. So 
Um, there's a lot of it. So this is one of the books you can use as a reference when you're taking the morning exam. Uh, the Florida Building Code of Residential. It's another retarded book. Look how fat this is, right? And yeah, I guess it's kind of fat, right? But Appendix N, and I'll quickly go to that. And by the way, it's so big with the stupid binder, you're going to take up so much time, right? Trying to flip open the binder because it's so damn fat. Look at this. So Appendix N, right? You have some isometric drawings there. You, and, and by the way, there are errors. <laughs> there are errors in, in, uh, in, in the venting methods here. There you go. Here's some more. Okay. So another valuable resource. Um, and it's not about code when you're putting these things together, right? You have to follow the, the instructions that they're giving you, right, to answer the question or to, to fill out that, uh, this piece of paper with a pencil and, a, and, a, and an architect scale. Um, use, um, you want to use about 16 minutes per drawing. You're going to get five drawings. You, you may have a... A single story, you may have a few single stories, but you're probably gonna at least have at least one, uh, two or three story um, drawing, you know, uh, stacked bathrooms or offset bathrooms. So don't be intimidated. I sat in this class for uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, for minus an hour for lunch, seven hours today. And let me tell you something, it was the best seven hours um, that I've put in to so far uh, in learning. Uh, how to pass the exam. Uh, you gotta notice, because when you, when you fill out permits, um, you gotta do this. All right, guys, uh, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the overwhelming support from the community. Uh, and to those that are uh, waiting for my business law and, and finance exam, uh, how to take that, um, that test, uh, my video, um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't, uh, haven't even touched on it yet. Uh, but it's still fresh in my mind. I am going to show you guys in a future video, in the near future, I promise within the next couple of weeks, I will put a video on how to use your time wisely and pass the state of Florida uh, contractor exam for business and finance law. Okay. It's, it's hard. It's a hard exam. Uh, I, I, I got to tell you, I, think, I don't think my accountant would have passed this exam. He probably got the accrual questions correct, <laughs> um, but it's a very difficult exam. And I am going to show you how I passed it, and you can you feel free to use my techniques. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hug your kids. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.